A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame how weird the scene the dark is sulphur warm with hints of death and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame and now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked and serpents shaped of mist rise up to heaven with unforbidden heads and thunder clouds whose lightnings intertwist rack all the sky and tear it into shreds and shake the air like titans that have kissed end of poem this recording is in the public domain a thunderstorm at night by Eric McKay. Read for LibriVox.org by Brian Darby. June 2016, San Jose, California. The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos. And I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird this scene, the dark is sulphur-warm with hints of death, and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads. And thunder clouds, whose lightnings intertwist, rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay. Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence. Lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name. As one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur warm with hints of death and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads, and thunderclouds, whose lightnings intertwist, rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem this recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric Mackey Read for LibriVox.org by Esther Ben Simonides The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur warm with hints of death, and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidding heads. And thunder clouds, whose lightnings intertwist, rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric Mackay Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger, pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur warm with hints of death, and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents, shaped of mist, writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads, and thunder clouds whose lightnings intertwist rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric Mackay Read for LibriVox.org by Garth Burton The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur warm with hints of death, and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads, and thunder clouds whose lightnings intertwist rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay Read for LibriVox.org by Gabrielle C. The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur warm with hints of death, and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame, and now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads, and thunderclouds whose lightnings intertwist rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay Read for LibriVox.org by Greg Giordano, Newport Ritchie, Florida. The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur warm, with hints of death, and in their vault enorm. The reeling stars coagulate in flame, and now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads, and thunder clouds whose lightnings intertwist. Rack all the sky, and tear it into shreds, And shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, 
and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulfur warm with hints of death, and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads. And thunder clouds, whose lightnings intertwist, rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titians that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay Read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur-warm with hints of death, and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads. And thunder-clouds whose lightnings intertwist Rack all the sky, and tear it into shreds, And shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay Read for LibriVox.org by Maria Casper the lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur-warm with hints of death. And in their vault enorm, the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked. And serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads. And thunder clouds whose lightnings intertwist, rack all the sky, and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay, read for LibriVox.org by Matthew Datcher. The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, and I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, as one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene, the dark is sulphur warm with hints of death, and in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads, and thunder clouds whose lightnings intertwist rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay 
Read for LibriVox.org by Sky Albatross The lightning is the shorthand of the storm That tells of chaos, and I read the same As one may read the writing of a name As one in hell may see the sudden form Of God's forefinger pointed as in blame How weird the scene, the dark is sulphur warm With hints of death and in their vault enorm, the reeling stars coagulate in flame, and now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist right up to heaven with unforbidden heads, and thunder clouds whose lightnings intertwist rack all the sky and tear it into shreds, and shake the air like titians that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Thunderstorm at Night by Eric McKay Read for LibriVox.org by Thomas Peter The lightning is the shorthand of the storm that tells of chaos, And I read the same as one may read the writing of a name, As one in hell may see the sudden form of God's forefinger pointed as in blame. How weird the scene! The dark is sulphur warm with hints of death, And in their vault enorm the reeling stars coagulate in flame. And now the torrents from their mountain beds roar down unchecked, and serpents shaped of mist writhe up to heaven with unforbidden heads, and thunder clouds whose lightnings intertwist rack all the sky and tear it into shreds and shake the air like titans that have kissed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.